Hey guys! With so many events going online lately, it's no wonder that nowadays you can organize a conference in your living room. I mean, not literally your living room. So today I'll show you how to host a virtual conference. Like anything in life, preparation is key. So I'll give you some great practical advice on how to conduct a top-notch conference. First of all, choose the right platform and give yourself some time to get familiar with it so that everything goes as smooth as silk. I suggest using Streaming Video Provider, an awesome platform for streaming with lots of possibilities. I know that when I say lots of possibilities, you might think that it will require too much time and effort to learn how to use it. But that's not the case. The platform has a great deal of explainer videos and articles for every feature and you can easily find the right information and guidance. So go to your account and, if you don't have one, create it in less than two minutes. Next, go to a playlist and from the Add Media button, click on Live Stream. Name it accordingly and click Create. Now that we have established our streaming channel, we need to connect it with OBS. I will leave a link in the description with a very easy tutorial. Now it's time to play around with some OBS features to get ready for our awesome conference. I would suggest you use both video and webcam streams so that you keep it interesting for your viewers. You can use the pre-recorded videos for presentation of the participants or introducing your sponsors and partners. Apart from you being the host, you will also have some guests taking part in your conference. Let's summarize that in the best case scenario, you will have three groups. Pre-recorded videos, guest participants and you. We'll create a separate scene in OBS for each one of these groups. First, let's start with the videos. Create a scene and name it, well, videos. From the plus sign, choose media source and upload your videos. I suggest you give them proper names so that it's easy for you to keep track if you have more than one. Now let's create the scene for your webcam. Name it for example me and from the plus sign choose video capture device. Choose your webcam or another camera option if you have an external source and then OK. Now you can play around and add some more cool stuff like for example a nice overlay image or text. You can check this video on how to add an overlay. This will put a very professional touch to your appearance. Now we get to the part with your guest stars. Create another scene and name it Participants. Choose a platform for online meetings, create a meeting and send invitations to your participants. Go back to OBS and from the plus sign choose Windows Capture. Now this is something that you need to do a few minutes before your conference starts. Open your meeting in a new window and in your participant scene, double click on Windows Capture and choose the right window. Go back to your streaming video provider account and set the date and time when your conference will begin. Let's say you will stream your conference on your own website. From this menu here, you can choose how the player will look like for your viewers. Let's say you want to give them the chance to participate and write their questions and comments. So choose the player plus chat option. Copy the embed code and paste it on your website. Once your conference begins, you can navigate the whole thing from OBS. Don't forget to click on the Start Streaming button. You'll see your stream here, but keep in mind that it takes about 30 seconds for the stream to ingest. As I said in the beginning, planning is very important, so I would suggest you write down a step-by-step -step plan for your conference and switch between the different scenes according to your plan. That was all for today, guys. If you enjoyed this episode, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more great videos. Thanks for watching.